And going into 1990, obviously, we've spoken about Brian Clough. You played for another great, Bobby Robson. Yeah, um, absolute. In many ways, chalk and cheese. Um, their love of the game was there. There's no doubt that the pair of them had a real love of the game. Um, different personalities, the enthusiasm that, that Bobby Robson offered was, was incredible. Every day, his enthusiasm is almost a boy, boyish enthusiasm for the game. Almost a father figure. You'd look at him and think, you know, you'd respect him. Everything you would expect from an England manager, I think, w was Bobby Robson. I appreciate, you know, for me, I, he picked me when a lot of journalists around the country were saying he's too hot-headed, he'll let England down, he'll get sent off. He not only picked me, but he stuck with me as well at times where there was one or two doubters. What seems to happen in the media is there's a big groundswell of getting people into the squad from, from the outside, and, and I was washed along with that. And then once you're in and had a few games, there's a groundswell of getting them out. And that just seemed to be the cycle that, that the media worked to at the time. And to be fair, he was really good. I mean, you know, when, when people were doubting whether I'd have the, the, a cool mentality to play for England and I played to an aggressive nature, um, he backed me. And he was fantastic in that. And from a, from a disciplinary point of view, playing for England, you know, um, I never let him down in that respect, you know, I only booked five times in 78 games and that, that probably tells its whole story. 